Let's first understand whether or not she is under arrest or simply being questioned. Can you hear me? I do, perfectly. Please go ahead. Okay, so um, the Special Development Minister was arrested um, at the Rigna Police Headquarters. She was invited. She came with her lawyers and then uh, she gave her caution statement and then was placed under arrest. And then there were some bail conditions and uh, we, we have not been told the nitty gritties of the bill condition, but we are told that she's been granted bill. So she just left the premises of the Regna Police Headquarters. Uh, um, lawyer, you say, uh, describe to us, you know, the scene at this invitation and her showing up with her lawyers. Describe to us the scene. Was she, for example, handcuffed? If I can hardly hear you. I'm asking you to describe for us the scene because we went there. Describe for us the scene, how it looked like, you know, her her presence you know was her she, coming she, with her mm. was she in handcuffs for example no she was not in handcuffs she was invited so she drove here that was about two hours ago and then she was taken through the process she came in a white top and a, a, a blue jeans with some white, and then uh she was taken through the process so she was not in handcuffs she came with in two v8 i mean two v8 came to the regional police headquarters so uh, headquarters so she was not in handcuffs but we are told by the police that uh, she was placed under arrest and subsequently granted bail. So she was arrested. She is under arrest. Yes, she was. She was arrested. The police have confirmed that when they take you through that kind of process, then it constitutes arrest because she was interrogated. She was placed under arrest. She gave a caution statement and was subsequently granted bail. And so we understand that there were some bail conditions that were set by uh, Madam Hawakum Singh, but the police will, will let it us in shortly on what the bail conditions were. What happens going forward, Richard? Well, so um, the police, once that the police have taken uh, her caution statement, we, we the police, so the police, they are in the meeting and then they will address the media shortly. This certainly did attract, you know, a curious group of people within the area. Give us an idea, a mental picture, if you may, of how the people within this area reacted. I mean, what was the scene once again like? Well, um, there haven't been much reaction because it was the regional police headquarters. And so I did not see a lot of people coming in here with the exception of the two V8 that came to the regional police headquarters uh, with um, Madam Hawakum Singh herself. It really attract a lot of people here. So it was just the normal police process uh, processes that she went through or she was taken through and then um, um, she was granted bail. So she just left the premises of the regional police headquarters. I, I, on that note, let me bring you the visuals of her leaving the police headquarters. Take a look at this and then Richard after that. So this is the police headquarters where Madam Hawa comes in, you know, uh, went to. There she is uh, leaving the police headquarters after, after she reported, and as Richard is report, reporting with her lawyer in their VA. So she get, there she is sitting in the car, and subsequently uh, she leaves the... So we're, we're, we're done and over with Richard Kujunyaku. I was hoping that she was going to speak to the PRO for us, but we'll bring you more of that in our subsequent bulletin right now.